China has criticised the International Criminal Court for laying war crimes charges against Russia's president. The remarks from the Chinese Foreign Ministry were made as Chinese President Xi Jinping began a controversial state visit to Russia. Asia correspondent Brent O'Halloran joins us live from Taipei. Brent, how has the president been received in Moscow? Well, he's been fettered so far. President Xi arrived overnight. Russian soldiers gave him an honour guard at the airport. He held what was described as uh, informal talks with President Putin at the Kremlin before the pair dined together. They spoke glowingly of each other during the brief remarks made before the media contingent. And they touched on Xi's main piece of business for this trip, the peace plan for the war in Ukraine. I know that the next year your country will host yet another presidential election. Thanks to your strong leadership, Russia has achieved significant success in reaching prosperity and well-being of the country. We have carefully studied your proposals on settling the acute crisis in Ukraine. Of course we'll have an opportunity to discuss these issues. We know that you're guided by observing the principles of justice and respect for the basics of international law and undivided security for every country. You're also well aware that we're always open to the negotiation process. Russian state media say in total the pair spent around four and a half hours together today and Putin even went outside to wave she goodbye, an action he reportedly rarely does during such state visits. Now the main formal talks are scheduled for tonight and will continue into tomorrow. They'll go over Xi's 12-point peace plan which was unveiled last month and has been criticised by the United States for being too favourable towards Russia. The White House has concerns about the sort of ceasefire China and Russia would agree on. But we are concerned that, instead, China will reiterate calls for a ceasefire that leaves Russian forces inside Ukraine's sovereign territory. Now, any ceasefire that does not address the removal of Russian forces from Ukraine would effectively ratify Russia's illegal conquests. Now, China in the past has criticized the United States for standing in the way of efforts to secure peace. It says the U.S. is intent on prolonging this proxy war, regardless of how many Ukrainians are killed. According to Chinese state media, Xi and Putin will tonight plan a new blueprint for a comprehensive strategic partnership of cooperation before attending a state dinner. Now, that comprehensive China-Russia partnership has concerned many in the West who see this as undermining the US-led global order and lessening the ability for international organizations to punish either Russia or China for their illegal actions, Tom.